this three level birthday cake and imagine that you have to arrange candles on it. Now, will you put all the candles on one level? Of course not. You will distribute the candles over different levels. In the same way, electrons are arranged on different levels in an atom. Electrons revolve around a nucleus on a fixed path called orbit or shell. These shells are also called energy levels. The shell is represented by a circle around the nucleus and electrons are represented by red dots. Each shell has a name. The first shell, K, is closest to the nucleus. The second shell is L. The third shell is M and so on. The distribution of electrons in different shells is called an electronic configuration. Electrons are not arranged randomly in these shells. They start by occupying the shell closest to the nucleus, which is the K shell. Once the K shell is full, the electrons fill up the next one and so on. Each shell can only contain a specific number of electrons. Oh, good question. We have a formula for that. The maximum number of electrons in a shell is given by the formula 2n squared, where n is the number of the shell. For example, for shell 1, n is equal to 1. Using the formula 2n squared, we see that the maximum number of electrons in shell 1 or k is 2. For shell 2, n is equal to 2 and the maximum number of electrons in shell 2 is 8. Can you figure out the maximum number of electrons in shell 3? Let's look at some examples of electronic configuration. This is hydrogen. It has one proton which means it has one electron. This electron is present in the first shell or K shell. Neon has 10 protons and 10 electrons. Using the formula for electronic configuration, the first shell will have 2 electrons and the second shell will have 8. The electronic configuration is written in brackets as 2, 8, where the comma separates different shells. Magnesium has 12 electrons. Its electronic configuration is 2 electrons in its first shell, 8 electrons in the second and the remaining 2 in the third shell. This is written as 2, 8, 2. Time for a quick exercise now. Helium has two electrons in its first shell. Its shell is complete. Lithium has total three electrons, two in the first shell and one in the second shell. Nitrogen has seven electrons, two in the first shell and the remaining five in the second. Oxygen has eight electrons, two in the first shell and the remaining six in the second shell. Chlorine has total 17 electrons, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second and the remaining 7 in the third shell. Argon has 18 electrons, 2 in the first shell, 8 in the second and the remaining 8 in the third shell. How many correct structures did you make? Today we have learned that electrons revolve around the nucleus on a fixed path called orbit or shell. These shells are labeled as K, L, M or 1, 2, 3. Electrons follow a definite arrangement in different shells. This pattern is called electronic configuration. The maximum number of electrons in a shell, N, can be calculated using the formula 2N square.